Hey, girlfriends. Welcome back to the Girl Talk Podcast. I'm in the studio again with Stephanie Jones. I hope you tuned in last week. We talked all about her nickname, The Giving Gal, mm-hmm. giving gifts to other people. Um, and this week, we're specifically talking about gifts that we give ourselves. So if you missed the last episode, you can listen to this one, but go back and listen to the other one because it was super powerful. Yeah. So Stephanie, I'm going to let you take it away um, and maybe tell us a little bit about the difference between giving to others, giving to ourselves, and why it's important. Yeah. So um, if you're watching this, my guess is you're a busy woman. I've stopped saying that when people ask, like, how are you? I'm busy. Like, yes. oh, it's the worst response, and I used to give it all <laughs> the time. But uh, I work full time. I you know, write, speak. I coach people. And um, I crashed and burned in Alaska when I was uh, doing wow. speaking up there. And my doctor had told me it's not a matter of if, it's when it was going to happen. And it was, this was after, you know, I was still giving a gift every day. And what I realized is if I don't take care of myself, if you don't take care of yourself, we can't give, we can't serve, we can't fill other people's cups up yes. because ours is not. We start to have resentment. We start to have health problems. And if you don't have your health, then you don't have anything else. And mm. you can't do all these things that you want to do, whether it is work um, you know, or be at home with your family or volunteer, whatever it is. And so um, I really had a big shift in my life and started to do a lot of research, a lot of reading, and started giving the first portion of the day to God to myself and it was amazing the shift and I was one of those people who you would have I would have said I don't have time to do that I don't have time I started working on emails at four in the morning Mm. every day and now some days I'm in the word and you know doing my prayer and gratitude and writing and I might do that from like sometimes four to eight, you know, and then starting yes. my day at eight thirty. And guess what? I still get everything done. And this is now I crave it. You know, yes. you kind of fight the things that are good for you. But then once you get in, not only the habit, but it becomes a lifestyle. Yes. Then... I love that. I, I just want to interrupt you here real quick, because yeah. if you're a lady out there and you just heard Stephanie say from four to eight thirty, you might be thinking that is incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah. First of all, you're probably thinking, I don't have that time. And secondly, you're probably thinking, what did you do for those four and a half hours? And I just want to encourage you a little bit there. Um, like that's a relationship, right? With the heavenly father, that's a relationship. Mm-hmm. So the first time you went out with a new friend or something, you might not have talked for four and a half hours. And it's a conversation that you've developed over time. Yeah. And it would be the same with your heavenly father. So I just don't want anyone out there to think she is something I could never be because she's not. I'm glad you pointed that out. Um, That is not every day. And uh, some days it is 15 minutes Mm -hmm. or five minutes or whatever it, whatever you can start to give, start there. Um, And then for me, it is, I'm an author. So I use that time when it's quiet in the morning and I'm creative and I feel like God gives me a ton of ideas in the morning after being in the word, after prayer. So some of that time is writing, which seems like work, but for me, it's not. It's eating a healthy breakfast. It's just Mm -hmm. sipping on my coffee. Sometimes I love like the Libby app from the library and I have a good book that, and I found that last week. Oh yeah. It's amazing. And they have every book. And so sometimes it's sitting there listening to a good book and just filling my mind. So yeah, don't, first of all, it doesn't have to be four hours. Um, It can be whatever you have, but whatever is going to fill you up. And for me, it's starting in the word, it's praying, it's writing what I'm thankful for each and every day. Um, And then from there, it's almost like once I do that, than wherever the time takes me or what time I have left. Yes, I I love that. I love when we talked the other day at your house, you talked about sunsets. Yes. Can you share a little bit more about that? Yeah, so sunsets are a thing that I feel like I missed for the first 35, 40 years of my life because you're just rushing around. Everything's going on. And um, I now chase sunsets. You know, if I get a glimmer of the sun setting, I literally will run out the front door. I will run to a window um, because it doesn't take a much time to see the sunset, but it's just a good way to pause, to look at what God has created mm-hmm. Everyone is, I feel like I get excited every time I see a sunset because they're all different and it's just a great time of the day to pause. I always feel like sometimes I miss, you know, the sun rises, Yes. um, but I feel like we can all set, 
you know, catch sunsets. And even if you're like, my goal is to catch one. I think I told you at my old house is I literally would have to run down the driveway yes. because we had all these trees and I would do that at the end of the day. And I just, you'll be amazed what you see and just how calm. So it kind of goes back to where I said the morning is like this long routine yes. that I have is it can be as simple as, Hey, I'm going to pause and watch a sunset. So. And I love when you shared that with me before you mentioned that you ran out the door without your phone. Yes. Oh, um, gosh, no, I never Because phone. to me, my first thought is grab my phone. I got to take mm -hmm. a picture and share it with everyone else. Yeah. And um, I have found freedom in I don't have to share it with anyone else. No. I can sit here and then just talk to God about it yeah. and enjoy the creation. And that is when it's a gift back to myself. I mean, I still share about it sometimes. I do too. I'm like, I want to encourage everyone else to go out and look at this. Like, this is truly a gift you're giving yourself. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you just sit there and take it all in and you're like, yeah. that's just for me. I think that's a good point is I have really focused on disconnecting from my phone. Mm -hmm. So I use a Bible in the morning, um, you know, is I, I've started to delete social media off my phone and then, you know, put it back on if I need to post, but ha leaving your phone somewhere else, you don't need it. You know, yeah. like there's, I always think of, we survived so long with no social media. So if I'm out, I got rocking chairs on my front porch so I could watch the sunset. If I'm out there, I don't need to have my, like, there's no reason I need to have my phone mm -hmm. while I'm sitting on my rock, rocking chair, or if I'm reading a book or whatever. So, but that's really, I mean, there's a lot of work that has to be done for us to disconnect and detach from our phones. Yes. Um, but it is, it's so healthy. There's it not is. a lot of good things on our phone. It is. And um, just to maybe wrap it up here in the next few minutes, mm -hmm. um, talking about gifts you give yourself. Yeah. I went for the first time to get a facial the other day. Yeah. And I, I never have spent money like on myself. Mm -hmm. And I found, because you're laying there in a heated bed for like an hour or longer. Yeah. And I didn't have my phone. I couldn't read a book. I mean, I'm always reading a book, listening to a podcast, something. Mm -hmm. And here I am just laying here and I was like, how am I not going to get bored? <laughs> and immediately I was just like, oh, I could pray. Yeah. And I just started talking to God and I just was amazed because it wasn't like I was crying out all my complaints to God and I was listening to him, but it was more of like, he, you know, he just said, Amy, just be with me. Yeah. And I was still. Like, wow. I never just sit there and, and be with you for an hour. And it was just a whole new experience and it was beautiful. Um, and I understand that a facial costs money, yeah. but even my, um, I don't know what they're called, the people that give the facial, I don't know what that technical term Esthetician. is. Esthetician? Yes. <laughs> um, she had explained to me, like when, when I give you these products, like give yourself the gift every night of yeah. like taking time to clean your face. Mm. And I was like, wow, you know, like two minutes of just like taking care of your body or like maybe taking the extra three minutes to shave your legs in the shower, right? right? Yeah. Um, or the bubble bath if you yeah. have time I love for a nice long bath. I'm a yes. big bath person. And but any in. other gifts that you would share before we wrap this yeah. up? Yeah, you know, one thing I love to do is just like do a prayer walk. So just, mm -hmm. you don't have to go somewhere. You can go out, you know, your door and wh whatever is out your door, you don't have to have your phone, you know, just walk around. Like you said, it's that yeah. conversation. It's just being quiet. Um, like I said, I love to sit still and it, I used to not be able to do that, but just sitting and pausing, I write down what I'm grateful for every mm -hmm. day. Um, I have a book, Thank You Notes to God, which really does do those things. Um, you know, sometimes you have to be careful the people that, like the other day, it was really, that was a gift. So Amy came to my house, we had coffee and um, that was a gift, but I think you have to you're very positive. Hopefully I was very yes. positive. Um, but you have to guard if that's going to be a gift for yes. you. Cause a lot of people can be very draining and yes. you think of, Oh, I'm going to have coffee with a friend and you come back more exhausted. So I could not agree with you more. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was extremely uplifting, but on, I pick those people on purpose. Yeah. Like I time them out on purpose. Mm -hmm. And I know I, I'm not saying I'm never around people that are draining. Right. Exactly. I am because I have an opportunity to breathe life into them. But at the same time, I know like I'm going to need a little bit of life breathe into yeah. me. And this is the person I'm going to text to see if we <laughs> yeah. can grab coffee. Coloring. I love to color. Mm. Um, you know, so it's, it's finding going back to, like I talked about the volunteering, you'll have to go back and watch the other one if you haven't, but is finding what gives you energy, what fills you up. That's going to go, okay, I feel relaxed, rejuvenated, and then 
I'm going to be able to go out and give to others a little bit better. And as women, we need that. Yes. We need that for our spouse, for our children. We need that for the other women we interact yes. with. Like that's. And it's not once a year. For me, it's every day. That might be a stretch. So set a goal. If you're doing nothing, maybe it's once a month. Um, and then you work to once a week or okay. once every two weeks. And then you just keep working it like you would any goal. Yeah. And before you know it, you'll be able to, well, May not get to the four hours in the morning, and, and it's not every it, day. For a busy mom, it might be, I'm going to go to bed an hour early yeah. on Monday. Yeah. One thing, yeah. one day, work with your spouse. You know, I take naps. That's one thing I do. Mm. And my husband knows, don't wake me up. I just want to sleep till I wake up. And it's not all the time or every week. It might be once a month, once every two months. Right. But it's like when my body needs it that I'm going to take a nap. You listen. Mm -hmm. Ladies, I know that this has just gotten you excited and motivated because number one, who doesn't love gifts yeah. and who doesn't like a gift for yourself? <laughs> and now we know we can give ourselves these gifts. This yeah. is a win-win, ladies. I love it. So this again, this is Giving Gal Stephanie Jones. Um, your website is? GivingGal.com. And then she's also on social media. So reach out, connect with her. Yeah, she please. is one of those uplifting, exciting people that I on purpose have in my life and she's not allowed to leave it. I just didn't tell her that, but um, she Same will to you. pour life into you. So we will catch you ladies next time. Hey friends. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the Girl Talk podcast where women encourage women. Come join us also on Instagram and Facebook where we encourage women to live an intentional, powerful, positive, and spirit-filled life.